Dear Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus, the Father of all spirits and the Father of light. We ask, Lord, that you will give us light today through the entrance of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Now, this is the 13th on the series, God Knows Me. And our text is Psalm 139. Today we're going to be focusing on verse 16, which says that God has seen everything about you and documented sin in a book even before you were formed and placed in your mother's womb. Amen. Now that scripture specifically says, verse 16, Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were freshened, when as yet there was none of them. Amen. Now, from the previous verse, verse 15, we have established that the substance referred to there is your physical body. Amen. Because it is your body that is formed in the, in the woman's womb. Your spirit is not formed in the womb. Your spirit is given to you directly from God. But the body is formed, you know, in the, your body is formed in the womb. That is why the Bible says that as, at death, that the body will return, you know, even to the ground from where it was taken. While your spirit, you know, goes up, you know, even to God. Amen. Praise God. Now, the verse 16, which is our focus, says that God saw everything concerning your physical body, including all the members, the nerves, the tissues, the cells, the digestive system, every system, every piece of your body. God saw everything as a whole before you were formed and placed in your mother's womb. God saw how tall you were, you're going to be. He saw how short you're going to be, the color of your eye, the color of your hair. How long or how short your hair is going to be. God saw everything about your life. He literally saw a whole you before you were formed, you know, and placed in your mother's womb. Glory to God. Amen. Now, the scripture goes further to say that not only did God see all your members, the Bible says that everything concerning your members were written in a book. Amen. Everything concerning your digestive system, your respiratory system, your reproductive system, everything concerning all the systems in your body, your feet, your eyes, your ears, your, 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 your nose, you know, everything concerning your body, the details concerning your body. The Bible says everything was written in a book. God wrote everything in a book before you were formed and placed in your mother's womb. The number of years you're going to live on the earth, they've all been written, documented, even in this book of God, before you were formed. Amen. Now, that scripture suggests that there is a book that contains the details of your life. When you're going to be born, when you're going to exit this world, everything, every detail, the kind of occupation, you know, that you're going to do on this earth, the schools you're going to attend, everything concerning your life had been written in this book, you know, before you were formed and placed in your mother's womb. Amen. And, 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 and I think anyone who does that to anybody, you know, basically loves that person. Amen. Can you believe that God knew everything about your body? That he has seen how tall you're going to be before you were formed and placed in your mother's womb? That he has written where you're going to live at any particular point in time? Which country you're going to be born in? Which country you're going to die in? All of these have been written, you know, concerning you before you were born and placed even in your mother's womb. Can you believe that? That the details of your life are contained even in the book that have been written, you know, by God. Amen? Now, when you think about that, does that not suggest that your life has been pre-arranged, prepared, and documented in God's own book before you were formed? Can you believe God for that? Can you trust that, that he had done that even before, you know, you were given birth to, and before you were placed in your mother's womb by giving birth to? And does that not demonstrate a great love of God even towards you as a human? Amen. Praise God. Now, if you look also, you know, at the life of Jesus Christ, you will see that you will see that God did the same concerning him before he was born. You know, scripture reveals several things written concerning the life of Jesus Christ before he was born. You see, for instance, the book of Jonah, you know, using the three days that Jonah spent at the, at, in the in the west belly 
you know, to speak concerning the fact that Jesus Christ was going to die and be buried and that on the third day he was going to be raised from the dead. Don't you also see in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, the Bible talking about, you know, a virgin giving birth to a child whose name shall be called Emmanuel, basically prophesying concerning the birth of Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ was going to be given birth to, you know, by a virgin. There are several prophecies, several things written concerning Jesus in the book, in the Old Testament, the book of God, even before Jesus was born, you know, into this world. Amen. And that is why you see severally in scripture, especially in the Gospels, you see it being said, and it did this, that it may be fulfilled, that it may be fulfilled, that it might come to pass. You know, several things that Jesus did. The scripture draws our attention to the fact that Jesus did those things so that what has been written concerning him in the Old Testament, you know, can be fulfilled. Because then the Old Testament was the book of God. Amen. Every detail of Jesus' life was contained in the Old Testament before he was born. Praise God. And so you see again in the scripture, even Jesus himself saying, look at this particular scripture. In, in Matthew chapter 26 verse 24, Jesus said, the son of man goeth as it is written of him. In other words, Jesus was basically saying that he lived his life according to that which was written concerning him. Listen, God has written certain things much, not just certain, much things concerning your life in his book. And it will do you a lot of good and make life a lot easier for you to ask God to reveal the detail of your life that he has written concerning you unto you. And I hope you to order your life, you know, in line with what has been written concerning you. Jesus said, the son of man goeth as it is written concerning him. I pray that you also will discover what has been written concerning you and that you will run your life in accordance with that which has been written concerning you in the name of Jesus. God bless you.